Hello everyone, welcome back on your favorite channel, New Light Neat. So students who have been NEET aspirants of 2021 and are anxiously waiting in Telangana state for their counseling sessions to begin, let me tell you, Kaloji Narayana Rao University of Health Sciences has already released a notification and they have started their admissions into MBBS and BDS. Let me tell you, right now they are just taking online applications and online uploading of certificates and it has begun from 8 a.m. on 5th of January 2022 and it will last until 5 p.m. on 11th of January 2022. Okay, now let me tell you what you have to do in order to understand what all guidelines have been released for you people. Here you can see the website. I've already opened this website. You can find the URL of this in the description section below. You'll click onto the website. You will see here new notification that is re released just click on view section and here you can see what guidelines have been released in regards to what aspects every detail they have straight away clearly mentioned be it in regards to your cutoff be it in regards to your registration all the details are mentioned please see candidates can register online and upload scanned original website as like original certificates on website the website is also given here from 8 a.m. on 5th of January, which means from today morning, these have already begun till 5 p.m. on 11th of January 2022 only. So make sure you are on time. Okay. Now, let me tell you certain important facts. You can go through these eligibility criteria, whatever are needed. Okay. Now, another important factor is, let me tell you, that registration and verification fee for general candidate is 3500 INR and for SCST it is 2900 INR and it will be paid online. This is only and only for online registrations. Right now they have just begun their online counseling sessions. They have opened their admissions for online registration. Okay, so this is only and only for online registrations. Now let me tell you, Please very carefully go through this entire prospectus that is given. The one factor in regards to your fee, verification fee and registration fee, I've already told you. It is non-refundable. Please make a note of that. Okay. Then there are uh, certain more factors, which is in regards to the documents required. The most important thing is what are the documents required? Please go through this entire prospectus that what all documents do you need at the time of filling up the form online, at the time of registering yourself. Certain mandatory fields I would like to highlight right now as well. The first important thing that you have to upload it is need UG rank card. Then it is birth certificate. It can be your SSC marks memo as well. Qualifying exam certificate, intermediate marks memo or equivalent grade certificate not accepted then study certificates from 6th to 10th if more than one certificate scan all into a single pdf file then study certificates be it your intermediate certificates or equivalent for two years okay more than one certificate if it is there then scan all into single pdf file and without uploading mandatory documents form will be rejected automatically so Students who are sitting in Telangana, the guidelines have been released, the notification has come, get up, buckle up your shoes, okay, and start completing your registrations online. Now, students from other states who are waiting anxiously for the counseling to begin, where no notifications have been released, very soon, I hope, and we all are praying that you are also going to get the guidelines in regards to your registration processes, okay? So have a great day everyone, good luck, thank you.